Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Nursing Education Tutor. My name is Cheryl Spencer. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you take a manual blood pressure. So let's go to the video. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you take a manual blood pressure. And you may ask, why would you take a manual blood pressure? In some situations, you may not have an automatic blood pressure cuff, and you may take a manual blood pressure. So I'll explain to you what the steps are. With everything, you first identify your patient. I've identified my patient. If your patient can tell you what their last blood pressure is, then you have an idea. So let's say your patient tells you my blood pressure normally runs 130 over 80. You will then inflate the blood pressure cuff uh, 30 to 40 milliliters of mercury either than that but in this I'm going to show you where you start from the very beginning where you do not know your patient have no history of the patient you're going to do what we call a baseline with this you will need a stethoscope first thing a stethoscope and then you need your blood pressure cuff first and foremost you must identify two pulses so I'm going to check your pulse this would be your radial pulse right here your radial pulse and then your brachial pulse your brachial pulse midline of your elbow and it's usually a bit medial a little bit towards the inside so you have your radial pulse and your medial pulse again i'm in a good position working about waist level i then take my blood pressure cuff and you don't have to memorize what we call this a bladder and there's a marking on this that will tell you the line for the artery and it'll tell you where it goes so again i'll find my brachial pulse mid a little bit medial and look for the mark. It'll also tell you what part goes on the skin. So do as it's instructed. I'm just gonna put this on your hand. Just always remember the blood pressure, you don't take it over clothes despite what you may see. It's important to put your blood pressure cuff snug. We have this thing that we say, if the cuff is too tight, the blood pressure may be falsely high. If the cuff is too loose, it may be falsely loose. First and foremost, you don't need your stethoscope as yet. You're going to take your machine. What you're going to do is palpate your radial pulse. And as you palpate your radial pulse, you're going to inflate the machine. What you're doing with this, you're inflating up until the point where you no longer can palpate the radial pulse. So for this one, I could no longer palpate at 120. I'm going to release that, wait about a minute. What I do with that 120, sir, is I take that 120 and I add 30 to it. After a minute, I'm now ready to take my manual blood pressure. Get your stethoscope on, make sure you've tested it. I happen to have a double stethoscope. I'm now going to place this. It'll tell you about one to one and a half inches above the pulse right there. I'm now ready to inflate it. So remember, I got 120, I added 30 to it. I'm going to inflate it to about 150. I've inflated to about 150, and I'm opening up the valve slowly. As soon as it gets to a good pace, I take my fingers off. What I'm listening for is the first beat. I'm going to continue listen until I no longer hear a beat or a sound. The first sound that you hear is what we call the systolic blood pressure. On this patient, Anakin, I heard 110. That would be 110 milliliters of mercury, and it stopped at 70. 70 would be the diastolic. That would be the patient's blood pressure is 110 over 70. If I had any doubt as to what I heard, what I would do, I would deflate the cuff as I did, and then I would wait one to two minutes and give the patient's arm a little bit of a rest before I do it again. Sometimes you may want to compare the blood pressure with the other arm. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you do a manual blood pressure in situations where you don't have an automatic, whether it's in a community setting or in your home. And that's all we have for today. So I'm gonna take off the cup. Your blood pressure is 110 over 70. It's, a, it's, in the, it's normal, it's good, and it's in the range that you were. Okay, I'm just gonna put your bed rails up and have a ladies and gentlemen so that's how you take uh, manual blood pressure as always if this is your first time to my channel welcome i hope you stay have a good day so ladies and gentlemen that is how you take a manual blood pressure if this is your first time to my channel welcome i hope you stay have a good day